Hi, it's Sandliff Get Together, your one-stop resource for easy appetizers and starters. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorites, tzatziki sauce. It's so versatile, you can have it on everything. Meats, chicken, savlaki. Use it as a dip with raw vegetables, pita bread, or regular bread. It's just so refreshing, light, and a delightful sauce. Here's how you make it. You wanna start by prepping your Greek yogurt. To get the best flavor, avoid fat-free. Believe me, I tried it, it's gross. Only use regular Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt gets watery. To make the best tzatziki sauce, we want to achieve a thick, creamy texture. In order to accomplish this, we are going to place a strainer over a bowl topped with a cheesecloth, then pour the yogurt into the cloth. If you don't know where to find a cheesecloth, I put a link in the description below. They are a great thing to have in the house. Tie it up gently so it stays in place and then stick it in the refrigerator overnight. What will happen is the excess liquid will drip into the bowl and thicken up the yogurt for that desired texture. Now it's the next day and you can see when I drop the Greek yogurt into the bowl how firm it is. This is exactly the thickness you want to achieve for that rich creamy texture. Next you want to grate your cucumber. I suggest using a cucumber with little to no seeds. Since I live in Panama, finding English cucumbers is very hard to find, so I'm using four Persian cucumbers. If you plan to use regular cucumbers, scrape out the seeds first before grating. My Persian cucumbers are already peeled since my camera decided not to record it. I'm sure you'll agree, you didn't miss much. Also, use the large blades when grating. Then place in a cheesecloth or a clean kitchen cloth to squeeze the excess water. Next, I'm using five cloves of garlic. It sounds like a lot, but it tastes so good. Of course, you can use more or less. Then finally dice it up. I've seen some make a garlic paste, but I haven't mastered that technique yet. Then pour it into the bowl. I'm using the juice of half a lemon and using my hands to make sure no seeds fall in. Add about two to three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil about a tablespoon of white wine vinegar, add the cucumbers, then mix to combine all the ingredients. Add sea salt and ground pepper to taste. Last but not least, add the fresh dill. If you cannot find fresh dill, use dry dill, but fresh just makes it taste better. I like putting in a lot, as you can tell. Pour the sauce into your serving bowl. Now, here's the most important part, because as much as you want to dig into this sauce, believe me, I know, you must refrigerate it for at least three hours before serving. This is a must. This will allow all the ingredients to soak in all those flavors with the yogurt. Okay, it's been about four hours in the refrigerator, so it's time to eat. I'm drizzling a little bit of olive oil, which makes it look pretty, with the little crevices that I made in the sauce. I also added some kalamata of olive for decor. And now it's time to taste. I bought some fresh pita bread to dip with this. It's such a great pairing. Mmm, this tzatziki sauce is so good. You can't just have one bite. It's just so freaking good. I love this sauce. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel to get great ideas for your next get together or meal for a party of one. Until next time, get together and enjoy.